Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have talked about what is acidic buffer as well as what is basic buffer and now we are going to talk about what are the mechanism of an acidic buffer as well as a basic buffer and we know that uh, buffer solution are those solutions in which addition of a strong base or addition of a strong uh, acid doesn't changes the value of pH so how does it goes on let us talk about it So now we are going to study about the mechanism of the buffer action that is uh, from an acidic buffer or from a basic buffer. So the buffer action means uh, the action uh, or the process in which where we could see that uh, the pH of a particular solution or for a buffer solution doesn't change and that's the reason that that has been called as buffer action. So the uh, resistivity of the changing in pH is basically, is basically known as uh, the buffer action. So now we are going to individually talk about uh, the acidic buffer, the mechanism of an acidic buffer as well as the mechanism of a basic buffer. So let's talk about the first one that is. So now let us understand what is the mechanism of the acidic buffer. So let us understand that one that is. So the previous lecture we have got to know that how the uh, acidic buffer has been prepared and it is very easy to understand that we have to take a, a basically a weak acid along with that of uh, that is a I would say like uh, the soluble salt of the weak acid which consists of basically a strong base so that is what a uh, that is an acidic buffer is been prepared from so what is the mechanism behind this or how can it resist the change in pH even though if we are adding a particular amount of strong uh, acid as well as or a particular amount of strong base so let us understand that how does it resist or how does it resist the change in pH when a particular acid is being added in the buffer solution. So now that is what we are going to talk about that is suppose that uh, if we have added if that is a uh, strong acid is being added. If strong acid is added in the solution and since we are talking about the acidic buffer and the common example that we know about uh, the acidic buffer it is nothing but that is CH3COOH along with that of that is CH3COONA. So in this case it will be dissociated into the following one that I am uh, that is uh, that is what I want to do uh, showcase in this case that is uh, talking about the first one that is uh, the weak acid it will dissociate into that is CH3COOH it will dissociate into basically CH3COO minus plus H plus and since it is a weak acid so therefore we will see that uh, the equilibrium uh, will be maintained in this case uh, only a partial amount of uh, the uh, H plus ion that will be dissociated and that is what the equilibrium is maintained by talking about the its soluble salt that is a uh, CH3COONA or I could say it as the sodium salt of acetic acid or sodium acetate it dissociates completely because it is soluble in water so therefore we could say that is the above one or the sodium acetate it will dissociate completely into ch3 coo minus along with that of that is na plus so now in this case we are going to talk about that is what if we have added a strong acid uh, in the buffer solution so strong acid in the buffer solution means suppose if i am talking about like uh, hcl suppose if a small amount of strong acid is been added to the solution and obviously we know that the strong uh, that is the strong acid it will dissociate completely so that is the reason suppose if i am taking uh, if i am talking about that is a strong acid like that of ha so now that will dissociate suppose if it is a strong acid it will dissociate into h plus along with that of a minus but in this case basically I am increasing the concentration, I am trying to increase the concentration of the H plus ion making uh, the pH value to be getting, uh, it will have a less value because the more the amount of H plus that has been added in the solution or that has been present in the solution, the lesser will the pH. But in this case we could know that as uh, the buffer solution consists of this ions also that is CH3COO minus. So now this are being capable of that is abstracting the H plus ion uh, or we could say the H plus ion of the acid toward itself so as to make the acetic acid. So in this case what we could see is that the if we have added the H plus ions also then that has been reserved and there is no increase in the, the H plus ion and that's the reason that we could see that the pH won't change and that is the mechanism behind that. And this kind of property where uh, we have that is uh, we have uh, made the H plus ion to be consumed by that of the CH3COO minus 
that is basically known as uh, reserved basicity and that is how we could see that there is no extra uh, that is h plus science that has been increased and that's the reason that uh, the ph value will remain almost the same and so this is what i have talked about the acidic buffer when an acid when a strong acid has been added in the solution and uh, now let us talk about that what happens if i add strong base so if strong base is been added in the solution now here the same thing that we are, we are going to talk about and uh, because we are doing a separate lecture for this one so therefore uh, suppose the buffer uh, the buffer solution or the acidic buffer solution is in this way that is uh, it will dissociate into the acetic acid it will dissociate into ch3 co o minus along with that of uh, h plus meanwhile the soluble salt it will dissociate completely so therefore ch3 co o and a it will dissociate completely into ch3 c o minus that is acetate ion and that of the sodium plus ion so what i am mentioning is if i have to add a strong base in this case so therefore the strong base is the one like uh, if i would uh, explain in this way like uh, suppose boh suppose this is what if i have added in the buffer solution so obviously because it is a strong base it will dissociate completely uh, so as to form that is b plus along with that of oh minus so if you could observe suppose if the particular uh, buffer solution is acidic in nature and uh, we are adding basically we are adding a base so obviously it will move the ph will be more towards the uh, ph value of 7 that means it will try to neutralize so we don't want the ph to be changed because obviously the more amount of oh it will be increasing then the ph will be uh, moving towards the 7 value and it can cross the 7 value and making the solution to be base so that is the reason that is because of the uh, this is acidic buffer solution and it consists of h plus ion as you could see so therefore this h plus ion will be able to that is uh, to abstract this oh minus ion so as to form that is h2o so therefore that is the reason that uh, the h2o that has been formed in this case it, it will basically it will be having uh, no increase in oh minus value or no increase in OH minus concentration and that's the reason that in spite of adding a strong base it has been converted into basically OH it will be reacted with uh, that of the H plus ion and it will be forming water so that is the reason that uh, the that is the basicity uh, is also been uh, that is uh, the acidity of the solution is also been reserved and that's the reason that this OH minus abstraction is basically known as the acidity of uh, or re reserved acidity of the buffer solution and that is what i wanted to talk about in the previous one we have got to know that is what is the mechanism of the acidic buffer and a strong amount of uh, strong uh, acid has been added and when a small amount of that is strong base has been added so still the ph of the acidic buffer has been maintained but now we are going to talk about that what is the action or what is the mechanism when a small amount of acid or a small amount of base has been added to a basic buffer does that the ph will change in that case let us talk about it with the help of the example that we are going to take that is for basic buffer we know so basic buffer uh, is made up of i would write it over here that is it is made up of weak base along with that of salt of weak base soluble salt of weak base and in which it consists of a uh, that is strong acid so for example if i am talking about this is the example that we have uh, we have did in our previous lecture also so suppose if i am uh, talking about that is the weak base that is nh4oh because uh, buffer solution is the one which consists of nh4oh that is a weak base along with a uh, salt of weak base that is i would say like nh4cl so talking about nh4oh it is a weak base so therefore it will dissociate uh, incompletely and that's the reason that the equilibrium would be maintained over here and that's the reason that uh, nh4 plus along with that of the oh minus it will dissociate but not completely and meanwhile talking about the nh4cl that will dissociate completely because it is a soluble sort of uh, the weak uh, base and that is the reason that if we could see that is nh4 plus along with that of cl minus it's been dissociated completely so now the reason is now we are going to talk about what if we are adding that is a strong acid in it so that is what i want to talk about in this case so suppose if strong acid is added in the solution 
strong acid uh, i would name it as that is ha suppose if ha is the one that has been added in the solution and uh, ha will be dissociated into basically h plus along with that of a minus but what will be the reaction and how the h plus ion will be consumed by the solution so that is the topic so if this h plus is been consumed by that of the nh4 oh minus because it has been equilibrium it has been forming in an equilibrium position so therefore we could say uh, that is uh, this h plus that will be reacted with that of the nh4 oh so therefore this nh4 it will react with nh4 oh so as to form basically i would name it as like nh4 plus along with that of oh minus but that of NH4 plus, NH4 plus is already present in the equilibrium. So therefore we could say that is uh, the H plus ion because of the strong acid that we have added over here. So now that has been consumed by the NH4 OH and that's the reason that we could say that uh, even though if I add strong acid, it would be consumed and uh, that's the reason that there would be no change in the pH value. And as you could see that this is the thing that has been already, it is it was been in equilibrium. So therefore the common ions that we are getting over here and uh, that's it that is a strong even though by adding a strong acid the ph value would change so now let us see that what happens if we add uh, that is a uh, strong base but before that uh, let me talk about this thing that is this h plus ion even though by adding it it has been consumed by that is nh4 oh or it has been consumed by the buffer solution so therefore this action or this kind of uh, the abstraction of the h plus ion or the removal of the h plus ion uh, so as to form uh, basically it would uh, not change the ph value that is basically known as the reserved basicity of the solution so it acts like a reserved basicity solution and that is what we are obtaining over here and uh, now the last thing is what if we are adding a strong base So if strong base is added, as we know that uh, the basic buffer solution it consists of, I would write it over here because uh, uh, it would be very much easier to understand. So suppose if NH4OH has been already present in it, so therefore it will dissociate into basically NH4 plus along with that of the OH minus ion as well as it consists of basically uh, strong uh, soluble sort of that is uh, NH4Cl. So therefore it will convert into NH4 plus along with that of Cl minus. So since we are talking about we are adding a strong base in it and that base suppose if uh, is like BOH and obviously it will be dissociated into B plus along with that of the OH minus sign. So in this case because uh, we are adding a strong base and the strong base will consist of more amount of OH minus sign and that will dissociate completely. So therefore there would be a tendency that uh, the concentration of the OH minus ion it will go on increasing and that's the reason that we could say that it will be more basic in nature. But the buffer solution doesn't change and it won't allow the solution to be turned into basic or turned into acid. So that is the reason or to neutralize. So that's the reason that we could see that this amount of OH ion that has been produced so therefore that OH minus ion will now be consumed by the NH4 plus so therefore that NH4 plus that would consume the OH minus ion so as to form basically NH4OH so this is the one that will uh, abstract the OH minus ion so as to form NH4OH and this NH4OH is already present in the solution and obviously that is a weak uh, base and uh, that's the reason that uh, the OH minus ion it won't be produced because it will form the solution as it you can see over here. So now in this case we could see that by addition of the strong base also that is uh, the OH minus ion is been consumed by the solution and that's the reason that there is no amount of extra OH minus ion that has been produced in the solution and that's the reason that the solution doesn't become more basic in nature and that's the reason uh, it has been uh, it has been consuming OH minus ion, and this is property is basically known as reserved acidity, and that is how it acts. And even the basic solution can't be turned into more basic solution. And talking about the acid solution or acid buffer solution, it can't be changed into more acidic solution also. So that is the mechanism that I wanted to talk about, and this is how we preserve the pH of the solution by adding buffer solution in it. So thank you friends for watching this video. This is what I wanted to talk about and I hope you have got this video very clearly and I hope you will share this video with your friends and just don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.